Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be telling you, teaching you everything you need to know to sell your feet pictures in October 2024. I haven't done a tutorial for this month and normally I release a tutorial every single month, a more up-to-date one of exactly what I am doing to make the most amount of money when selling feet pictures, feet content, feet videos, everything like that. So, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know and i'm going to put it out there straight away is that lots of people they sell feet pictures but most of the time it isn't just pictures lots of people will want videos of your feet they might want video calls with your feet in it but again you might want to do these things but you don't have to show your face you can completely like not show your face and you do not have to talk me personally i did used to not show my face and i didn't used to talk so i was like legit like that and then i got to you talking in videos i still do not talk or show face in video calls but i got to talking in videos and then eventually i built up the confidence so now i can speak and show my face in videos as well but obviously i do charge a lot extra for any type of content like that but this is everything you need to know when selling feet pictures, feet content. I call it feet content because in reality it is content, it's not just pictures alone, but everyone knows it as feet pics, you know? So platforms, what we want to do is platforms. So when it comes to selling feet pictures, there are multiple different platforms that you can use, but there are some that are designed specifically for selling feet pictures. And me personally, I do not find that they specifically work in my favor. And I'm talking about websites like Feet Finder and Fun With Feet. These platforms are specifically designed to sell your feet pictures on. But I just found that they never worked out for me. I do have plenty of like videos on why they didn't work out. Me trying them and everything like that. I just found they didn't work out for me. And I don't know what it was. Like I don't know if it's me or you know I don't know. But these platforms just did not work out for me. And me alternatively wanted to find something very um, cheap and easy to maintain it's not going to cost me anything to sell any feet content so obviously yeah i do not use the websites to sell feet pictures i use two platforms to sell my feet content sometimes free so i'm going to walk you through everything you need to do on these platforms so the first one if you want to get some quick sales you want to get some sales like legit today or tomorrow you want to create a snapchat account I definitely recommend creating a new Gmail, something completely like for your business related and make yourself a new name. Like obviously mine is Jesse Tyron. Make yourself a new name, anything, and then create a Gmail and then create a Snapchat account. You're going to use this Gmail to create all of your accounts. That way all of your stuff is in one place. So create your Snapchat account. And what you want to do is your username can be anything. Put your username as anything. Like my username is Jesse Tyron YT on Snapchat. But you can put it as anything that you want. The most important thing that you want to do is you want to put your display name. So the display name, which is what when someone types up something, that's what's going to pop up. Like if they type in feet seller, you're going to pop up if your display name says feet seller in it. So you're going to make sure that your display name says feet seller in it. So make sure you put like, like mine would be Jesse Tyron feet seller. So make sure you put feet seller in your display name. And the most important step of having a Snapchat profile is definitely creating a Bitmoji because it just makes you look less of a bot. You want to create that Bitmoji because, you know, it looks better like that. You just want the Bitmoji. So now your Snapchat is completely made, you know, it's completely working. You're going to get everything, you know, like that's where you're going to start selling. You've got feet seller in your display name. You've got a Bitmoji. It looks nice. What you want to do is your first steps on Snapchat is going to be going along and typing in feet seller at the top in the search bar and adding maybe like two to three feet sellers per day and also type in feet buyer, which is someone who buys feet pictures and add about two to three per day. So in total, you're maybe adding around six people per day because that way you are less likely to get blocked from Snapchat and that can be an issue because if you do add too many people, your Snapchat will get like permanently locked and that is an issue. So you wanna only add a few people per day. So now that you've got your Snapchat made, it is gonna start growing. It is legit gonna start growing and just make sure you do not post anything on your story specifically feet related so do not post any dirty talking do not post anything of your feet do not post anything with any images that could be considered a bit 
sexualized or a bit nude because your feet can be considered nudity on snapchat and that way you're not you're going to get your account logged it's going to keep growing it's going to be fine so do not post on your story if you do just like be careful what you're posting okay so now your snapchat is going to be growing so whilst your snapchat you've set up your snapchat and you've added the people and that shit's going to be growing in the background what you want to do is you want to create a twitter profile as well so for a twitter profile you basically want to use that new email address and go ahead and create a twitter profile now you're going to put your username as anything again and in your display name on twitter it doesn't really matter what it is just put like either call yourself a goddess a master a princess an angel anything like that because it is very like dominating and it really does work in the feet industry like i'm known as goddess jesse in the feet industry so you're going to put that as your like display name on twitter and in your bio you're going to make it very clear that you sell feet content so just put i sell customized feet content on your twitter bio and then also you can have a link tree to like link all of your accounts together like your twitter and your snapchat and everything and what I recommend doing is that now that you've got your Twitter made, you've put a cover photo, you've got a profile picture, you've got your bio, you've got everything. What you want to be doing now is you want to post once a day, at least, you could post 10 times a day, but at least once a day, photos of your feet. So it could be a soul's picture, it could be a tops picture, just post once a day and use all your like proper hashtags like feet seller, feet pics, feet pics seller, feet pics for sale. Use all the hashtags related to selling feet pictures in this because if you're posting once a day, you're going to be finding people and you're going to be growing your Twitter account. I also recommend also going along and follow a bunch of other girls that like sell feet content or guys that sell feet content. Follow them and also engage with their posts, engage with the people who um, like, like their posts, engage with those type of people because that way you are more likely to get more followers for yourself now your twitter is set up you're doing everything on your twitter you're posting once a day and that so now you can go away and you can create an instagram account instagram does work as well it's quite good but instagram can be a little you gotta be careful with it because you can't really post just straight up feet pictures instagram is definitely better if you do show your face because you can just take full body like selfies with your um with your feet in it so create an instagram account again username can be whatever display name can be whatever but in your bio what you want to put is you kind of put it like about feed content as well but be careful because your instagram account can get locked but again posting once a day with the proper hashtags so now you've got all three accounts made you know you've got your snapchat you've got your twitter and you've got your instagram what you're going to do is you're going to wait for people to approach you it's legit that simple and you've got three different profiles, you know, you've got three different platforms that you're on. You're going to be waiting for people to approach you. And people are going to approach you because, you know, you're selling feed content on three different places and someone's going to find you. So now you're going to wait for people to approach you. And whilst you're waiting, you could also think about what type of content you are going to sell, whether you're going to do pictures, whether you're going to do video calls, whether you're going to do videos. And you could also think about the prices. And for rough prices, here are some of mine. So... For five pre-made pictures, these are photos I ain't got to take because I've already got them made. Five pre-made pictures, I do that for like six pounds. And then for ten pre-made pictures, I think I do it for ten pounds. So for five custom pictures, so these are ones I've got to specifically go out and take, I charge ten pounds for five custom pictures, okay? So that's like two pounds per picture. But five custom pictures, ten pounds. For a one minute video, I charge £15 and that would be with face and with voice. So one minute video, £15 with face and with voice. I also charge £5 per minute for video calls. And obviously a video call is just me showing my feet. It's nothing more than that. Me showing my feet. I do not talk. I do not show my face. £5 per minute for video calls. So that's rough prices. You could be thinking about how you're going to price yours and everything. You could be making like a price list or a menu, which is basically just like a price list that looks pretty. And now as well, you want to think about payment options as well. So for payment, I recommend two platforms to take payment. I recommend using Throne.com, which is basically an online wish list platform where you can create a wish list and you can add either physical goods that will turn up to your door or cash gifts, which will go to your bank. 
the cash gifts will take like two three weeks to get to your bank but obviously you're still getting the money regardless and for the physical goods the buyer will not find out your address they will not find out your name they will not find out anything about you and you will not find anything about the buyer as well so it's really really anonymous and it's really good to use you can also use tip wish list and this is like 100 percent international because it is crypto related cryptocurrency is obviously international as well and tip wish list you will get the money in crypto but the buyer has to pay in crypto and not everyone wants to pay in crypto so that's another one but they're the two platforms I recommend signing up to for payment. Again, probably use that email address you made and everything. Sign up to them for payment because obviously you want to be able to receive some money. And they on either of them, the buyer does not have to sign up. So they have no reason not to use them to pay you. So now when you're going to get a message on any platform saying hi. And if they just say hi, ask them, hi, are you interested in buying any feed content? Find out whether they want to buy your content or not. They might message you and say, hi, do you sell custom content? And then you can be like, yeah, I do. I sell da 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 da. You know, tell them what you sell. Tell them what you, you know, what you sell. And tell them what they want to hear, really. Like, if they want a picture, you know, negotiate with them. These people, at the end of the day, they are human. They're not going to attack you. They are, well, they might. But they're, they're human, you know what I mean? And if they want pictures and you don't want to do it, like let's say they ask for nudity and you don't do nudity, tell them I do not do nudity. If they ask you to do something you're not comfortable with, tell them you're not comfortable doing it. Do not do anything that's out of your comfort zone. Do not do anything you don't want to do. You know, really negotiate and tell these people you are not, you know, you are not for sale if something is not for sale, if you don't want it to be. Like people always ask me to do meets and I say to them, oh, I don't do meets. And they're like, what if I paid thousands and I'm still like, no, I don't do meets, you know, it is nothing wrong with saying no, because at the end of the day, they will just go find someone else who will fulfill their fantasy, pretty much. But you're going to talk to them, you're going to arrange everything, you know, you're going to find out if they want pictures, they want videos, they want everything. You're going to find out what they want and then you're going to tell them payment. You're going to send them your phone link or your tip wish list link. And they're going to pay. As soon as you receive the notification that these people have paid, then you can start preparing the content, making the content and, you know, sending it to them. For the content, you know, if you don't really know, like, how to take pictures or you don't really know, like, what to say in a video, just ask them for a script. Like, show up, ask them to tell you what to say. There is nothing wrong with doing that. You know, you can say you're new to it. There is nothing embarrassing about it. I was new at one point as well. And I still, sometimes when someone wants a video, and I have no idea what they want me to say. So I say, like, can you give me some rough guidelines of what you'd like me to say? And then they'll give me some a few sentences and I can add to it in a video, you know. And some people should tell you what they want. But you can give them the content after they have paid, obviously, because you want to take payment up front. Always. You do not want to be like not taking payment. One thing you will get when people approach you is they might ask you for a preview picture, especially on Snapchat, because on Snapchat there isn't any like previews of your feet. And that's perfectly fine. You can give them a preview picture. Just give them a photo of your tops of your feet or the soles of your feet. Give them a preview because some people, they want to know if they like your feet beforehand before they are like buying it off you you know not everyone's gonna like your feet and it's good to kind of know if they do or if they don't you know you don't want them to buy it and then really hate it you know type of thing so you want to kind of just make sure they're going to be happy with it regardless but yeah and the final thing i'm going to go over so that's everything when it comes to selling feet content but one of the main issues that there can be with selling feet content is scammers you can get so many scammers and I'm going to give you some brief outlines so that way you do not get scammed. The easiest way to not get scammed is do not pay anyone anything. If they're telling you that you're going to like pay, like if they tell you they're going to pay you 500 quid and then you have to pay them 50, don't do it. They are scamming you. You do not have to pay anyone anything in any circumstance any instance you do not have to pay anyone anything that's the reason i recommend using phone or tip wish list because 100 percent you do not have to pay anything and if they keep asking you for free content they are legit scamming you and if they want to pay afterwards they are legit scamming you because if you give someone the opportunity to pay afterwards a lot of people will try their damn hardest not to so honestly be careful out there there are so many scammers but that is everything you need to know to sell feet pictures. Obviously, you do have to be over 18 as well. That is another thing in majority of countries. There might be other countries where you have to be even older. I have no idea. Please read up on your own country's regulations and also do your own research around this because obviously it is a very um, niche work and it can be deemed as sexual work as well. So, yeah.
just be careful but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please do leave a like and subscribe thank you so much for all the subscribers i do have currently and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one